Anyway, this is the poem that I wrote to my grandmother, the old tea factory at Kersney, Natal. The light streams through the cracks, haunting lines, specters, shards of memory, dancing patches on the crumbling walls, sunlight on a broken column, derelict and silent, stone bodies on the cooling lines, a lonely mango tree, a neglected hibiscus, marigolds under the thicket choking, and pride of India in need of pruning, only the eternal bees and butterflies. Your sari hitched to your waist, my grandmother came when she was seven, and began working in the tea plantations for Hewlett's uh, as a child laborer. And thankfully, before my mother died, I was able to get some of that uh, background. Your sari hitched to your waist, you toil from morning till sunset. The open spaces of the hills and dales, your lotted prison under the African sky. Nimble fingers picking leaf by leaf by leaf. You become lettered in the ways of the fields, reading the hills and the dales, writing your name in the wind, wafting it across the sea. The lush green hills of leaves, hoisted up, spread out to dry, on shelves lined with hessian. You turn the leaves hour by hour by hour to catch the rays of the African sun. You work for a shilling a month. You look wistfully at the rows of boxes. So her work was to dry the leaves, and then it was packed into boxes, and then sent to India. You look wistfully at the rows of bo wooden boxes filled with leaves, dried, drained, to be begin their journey across the billowy seas to the soil of your heart, your heart, your home. The leaves, the leaves, you see your fingers fingering the leaves, the African sun sealed within. Your hands reach out to the boxes, the boxes. The light streams through the cracks, specters, shards of memory, moving patches on the crumbling walls, sunlight on a broken column, all is derelict and silent, stone bodies on the coolie lines. A long shadow is cast over the hills and valleys of Kersey, abandoned by history, across the Kalapani, to the hills of Beswada in Andhra Pradesh, the river Penna, flowing old and languid, catches images fleeting of the old tea factory under the African sun. And my mother, grandmother never went back to India, so it remained a, a memory to her. Dancing on the waters over hills and valleys, wind swept with longing, my spirit forever entwined with yours. I have come in search of your dreams, growing in your garden, submerged in air, under the African sky. Beautiful. 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 <laughs>